Find the point on the plane x plus 2y minus z equals 16 that is closest to the point 317. Let's draw a picture. This picture doesn't have to be accurate. It's just a sketch. The parallelogram represents the plane. And we have this point out here in space with coordinates 317. The first thing we have to recognize is the, the point that's on the plane that we're looking for that happens to be closest to the given point would occur at uh, when we drop directly down and find a perpendicular let me make a right angle here okay that's critical then that recognition there that the closest point would occur at the perpendicular drop down um, onto the plane okay great so what do we do what we're going to do is find the line that contains these two points. Okay. So what do you need for the equation of a line? You need a point that's on the line. We'll take the blue point, 317. and you need a direction for the line. Recognizing the fact that it has to be the drop-down perpendicular point, then the direction for the line is the normal vector for the plane. Uh, let's say instead of 4, let's say the normal vector, uh, uh, or yeah, we can use the normal vector of the plane. Okay? And so that's going to be how do you look at the equation of a plane and get the normal vector? Just peel off the coefficients on x, y, and z. Alright, great. So this line then, call it uh, L, in parametric equations, remember how we do it? We take the point and put its coordinates kind of like in the column here, 3, 1, 7. We take the direction vector, we put its uh, 1, 2, negative 1 along there. They get multiplied by the parameter T. And let's go ahead and just put plus signs in between. And we can write this guy as 7 minus t for z. So that's the equation of the line. We just found the equation of the line that connects our two points. We're in search of the coordinates of the red point on the plane closest to um, our blue point, 3, 1, 7. Okay, great. What are we going to do? Well, this here is the equation of the line. We're now in search of where the line intersects the plane. If the line and plane are going to have the same, are going to intersect, are going to share the point, then we can take the x, y, and z parameter, uh, par 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 parameterized equation of the line and plug this in to the plane equation to find the time t that it takes until these intersect. So 3 plus t 
plus 2 times 1 plus 2t minus 7 minus t should be equal to 16. And we'll get the time t that it takes us to, um, to be on the line and on the plane at the same time. Three plus t, plus two plus four t, minus seven plus t, has to equal to sixteen. How many t's do we have? Looks like uh, six of those t's. One, four, and one. What about the other numbers? Three, two, and negative seven. Five minus seven. That's a negative two is equal to 16, add the 2 over, you get 18, 6t is 18, at time t equals 3, the line and the plane will coincide. But what point is that? At time t equals 3, x is 3 plus 3, which is 6. y is 1 plus 2t, so that's 7. z is 7 minus 3, which is 4. So the point that we're in search of that is closest to the other point has coordinates 6, 7, Okay, and the key was recognizing that it's the drop down perpendicular point and recognizing that you need to find the line that contains your two points and then find the intersection between that line and the plane.